Alfonso Schmidt reporting for holy crap what is that oh this I uh, decided to try something new but you don't like beards nah I don't like full beards but this is a Van Dyke I don't like it. Well, that absolutely breaks my heart. My entire mission in life is to please you. Shave it off. Excuse me? I mean it, man. It, it's freaking me out. Now shave it off. Now settle down, Schmidt. But you don't look like you. you. You look like some evil twin of you or that guy from Salvatore and Giuseppe's Pizzeria. Either way, it ain't right. Well, Schmidt, get used to it. This ain't over. Of course it isn't. Oh, pizza. Read it and weep. Schmidt, what is this? It's the Handbook of Standards and Regulations for the Farmingdale Park Police Department employees. I have turned to the relevant passage. Read it. <clears throat> Dudes and nuisance crimes can only have mustaches. That's it. I mean it. Anything else is dumb and creepy. So there. Schmidt, I know you wrote that in there. What makes you think that? Because it's written in three different colors of crayon and you just asked me for the handbook. Hey, Rogetsky, could I, uh, see the handbook for a minute? I could have been looking it up. Doesn't mean I wrote it. You also asked me for crayons. Oh, and, uh, uh some crayons. Just shave it off. Schmidt, give it a rest. Look, I was talking to the fellas and we all agree it looks ridiculous. The fellas? Ah, oh, Schmidt, tell me you haven't been talking to the rats in the boiler room again. Yeah, so why? They're rodents. They eat out of garbage cans and steal my food. They can't be trusted. Are you a radist? Schmidt! You know what? I'm gonna go to lunch. Hey, would you pick me up? No! Oh. Well, okay then. Schmidt! Shave it off, or I blow it off. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Oh, come on, Rogatsky. It looks weird. It doesn't look weird. You just don't like it because it's new. <sighs> new and stupid. You know what, Schmidt? I've been very patient with you up until now, but... Detective Rogatsky. All right, give me the address. We'll be there in 10 minutes. Uh, I love you too? Somebody really weird at dispatch now. Grab your gear. We've got crime to solve. Nope, not gonna say it. Not till you shave that thing off. You're impossible. Oh, I'm possible. Just highly unlikely. Well, I checked with all the neighbors and 
Nobody saw anything. They just came out this morning and there it was. Sick bastards. No security cameras, no witnesses. I think we're looking at a cold case. I think you're right. What should we do with it? Candy wrapper? Right. Throw it away, I guess. You throw it away. I get sick just looking at you. I'm going to the car. Schmidt! What? What, Rigansky? What? What could you possibly say to me that would make this better, huh? You made your decision. You didn't think how it would affect me or the job or our partnership. So what? What do you have to say? The car's right here. Right. I know. This is for you. What is it? It's a bucket of throw up. Because looking at your face made me throw up. Your stupid, ugly face. Schmidt, there is nothing you can do to get me to shave this off. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Rogatsky, you leave me no choice. I order you to shave it off. You order me? Schmidt, I outrank you. In fact, there is no plane of existence in which you are superior to me in any way. So you can take your orders and shove them where the sun don't shine. Your butt. Shove them up your butt. Just, just right in your butt. You know what? The heck with this. I'm knocking off early. Early? Quitting time was like an hour ago. What? Damn this place. You know what? I put up with a lot of crap from you, Schmidt. A lot of crap. Because we're partners. All I did was grow a Van Dyke. Thought I could, thought I could count on a little bit of support from my partner. I guess I was wrong. Is that really throw up? Oh no, it's, it's just uh, corn chowder and beefaroni mixed together. You disgust me. Alfonso Schmidt, reporting to apologize. I'm sorry I didn't support you, Rogatsky. I don't want you to ever feel like you can't count on me. So, if you've got a Van Dyke, then I've got a Van Dyke. I appreciate the gesture, Schmidt. But I realized that maybe the Van Dyke was just too much, too fast for you. See, first I started dating Netter Brooks. Butterfingers. Netter Brooks. That's what I said. And then I grew a Van Dyke? I, 
I have to remember that you're a sensitive guy with, with sensitivities. And I need to be sensitive to those sensitivities. Butterbrooks didn't like it either, did she? Not one bit. Yeah. But still, I, I have to appreciate the fact that you fear change. I don't fear change. I just don't understand it. I mean, why is the nickel bigger than the dime? Makes no sense. Schmidt, that's not the kind of change I'm talking about. Canadian? Oh my god, don't get me started. What the hell's a loony? Look, Schmidt. Listen, Rogatsky, we can talk about change at any other time. I'm just glad that everything's back to normal. Oh, Schmidt. You think this is normal? <laughs> Listen. Why don't you go head upstairs and clean that stuff off your face? I can't. I used a Sharpie. I'm not surprised. So we're not going to make that boot thing one of our things? No, not, I don't think so. Oh, okay. No. Not at this time. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Very good. <laughs> 